<clears throat> with regard to uh, South Africa, certainly uh, we are aware that uh, we had to deal with a very a big challenge in South Africa in terms of poverty, in terms of the <clears throat> bedlock that has been there. We are doing everything we can as the government, among other things that we have done, is to change the manner in which government does things on the issues of delivery, on the issues that have been outstanding. We are addressing the issue of how slow at times governments do things. We have introduced, for an example, measures like uh, performance monitoring and evaluation, which is going to make us <clears throat> make the government work uh, to be able to look and monitor and evaluate everything that government does. We have said 2010 is an action year, and we certainly have very concrete plans to ensure that uh, we will change the manner in which government operates. We would want to do things differently, and we've got plans for it. So in relation to the challenge of poverty, I think we believe we're ready uh, to tackle it and make an impact on it. Let, let me just say that we applaud the efforts that President Zuma is making uh, to bring stability and change uh, to Zimbabwe. Uh, and we know that he has the uh, support of SADC in the uh, efforts that he is making. Uh, we, ha however, must be absolutely sure that progress is being made. And that's why the commissions on human rights and freedom of the press and on governance are incredibly important to the future. And we must be moving from what is a, a unity but transitional government to free and fair elections. And there can be no excuses for delay in the creation of the commissions uh, and the completion uh, of their work, which is vital to the future of Zimbabwe.